Hello friends, welcome back to the Craft Castle. My name is Ashley and I have a really quick tutorial for you. It's going to be within the Caesar Leonardo program and it is how in the world to put score lines inside your project. Score lines are crucial if you're doing something like this, which is the gatefold invitations. I cut this thing out with my zero shedding glitter cardstock and look how well the Caesar, I, I cut this on the Juliet, but look how well that Juliet cut all those things. These are so stinking small. Do you see these leaves right there in between those? Zero issues. However, I'm gonna show you how to put the score line inside your project so you can also do that. One of the questions I get a lot is if the Caesar Craft cutting machines can do a score line, and it definitely can. However, I would like to note here, if you are a Cricut user and you're, be, and you're converting over into a Caesar, as of right now, they don't have a tool that looks like this, which if you're from Cricut, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. If you're not, if you're over on the Cricuts and you're using the Cricuts, when you try and do a score line, the machine just does one single pass, and that is where you're supposed to bend. And in within the Caesar Leonardo program, it's a bit different. Now, if you have seen a score line on the Silhouette machines and their craft cutting machines, that's gonna be your same type of score line that you get over in the Caesars. Are you ready to get started? Let's go. Okay, in the description of this video, I will link the gatefold invitation that I use from Creative Fabrica, but then all you wanna do is go to design and let's insert that file. So we're gonna do command I, or you can come up here to file and then import. Once you find the file, what you wanna do is insert the SVG option and just press open. And then you wanna make sure and have this clicked. It should already be clicked for you, but just in case, just do the edible artwork and press apply. Okay, this is the gatefold invitation that I used here. Now, if we were to change this over because it's filled in right now, if you wanna change this over to a cut tool, you can see that there is no score line or any type of perforated line inside that file. So if you have this happen, because some files that you download from Creative Fabrica include the score lines and some don't. So let's say you want to include a score line. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here into the magnifying glass and I'm gonna just draw a box around my invitation, okay? And then I'm gonna press this arrow tool. All right, the next thing you want to do is come over here into the draw button and we want to click this pen tool. Okay, when you click the pen tool, you will notice that this box will pop up and this is actually really helpful. The very first thing you want to do when you do the line, when you click your pen tool, is let's put a node at the very top of our invitation. Or if this is a box that you're doing, wherever you wanna start your score line, you wanna click on your mouse. So you can see that blue little box that's popped up. Now, if we were to move this mouse around, you see how I can do a straight line, but it's gonna be at an angle. Now, if you wanted to, you totally could put this at an angle. However, I want my score line to go from top to bottom. To ensure that that happens, now I'm gonna press shift on my keyboard and I'm gonna pull straight down. And so you can see that my line is completely up and down. That's exactly what I want. Then what I wanna do is I'm going to go to the very bottom of my invitation or where I want my score line to be and I'm just going to click on it. Then what you wanna do is let go of your keyboard and press return or enter. So that right here is one score line. Okay, now technically right now, if you were to leave it the way that it is, this would cut. So if you were to go and cut this out on your sheet of cardstock, this piece right here would be separated because you just told the machine that you wanna do one solid cut straight down from top and bottom. In order to make it a dashed line or a score line, with your new line that you created selected, we're gonna come over here. Do you see this thing right here that says solid line? Click on that and then you're gonna be able to have all of these options. Now, if you do the small dash, what happens is, is yours are gonna have a lot of small little dashes and it's going to be really tight within your score line. The smaller dashes, you can have a tendency to have too many dashes and this will be too flimsy. 
So if you wanted to go up more, you would click on the small dash again and do large dashes. And you see how now I have more of a space in between my dash marks. It just depends on your preference to your score line and, and how big you want to make them. Okay, and then once you have your first score line, for this particular file, you need two score lines, one for each side. What I would do is I would select this left line that we created and copy and paste. It will look like nothing happened, but just click on the line and drag it over and you can see that now we have two lines. So you're gonna wanna put this in place right you know, wherever you wanna put it. Okay, when you have that done, you have all your score lines in place, whether you're using a box or this gatefold invitation, what you wanna do is select everything and right click and press group. Okay, when you have that done, at this point, let's just say that we are finished with the design process. What you wanna do now is just go into send and then just press send. So this is what your mat is supposed to look like. You have your cut, and then you have your two score lines. They are going to look dotted or perforated, and that's because your machine is going to look like it had three doses of a Mountain Dew, because it's gonna go dee, 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 all the way down <laughs> your score line. So just know that this is how your design is supposed to look like with the score lines. Now, the unfortunate part about it is if you're used to these score lines with the Cricut, that it's one singular, we don't have that ability in the Caesar program, but honestly, for somebody like me who really likes to make 3D objects like boxes invitations, I kind of actually prefer the perforated line because they're easier to fold. All right, y'all, if you have any other questions about how to operate the Caesar program and or the machine, make sure and leave those in the comments of the video because I am striving to convert all Cricut users over to the Caesar machines and program. I will see you later.